Hi guys, welcome to Drum Dog and welcome to the next in our series of Drumhead sound comparison videos. Now, both of us are Evans players on our own kits, but we've had a few requests from you guys to get Remo involved a little bit more, so we've finally done it. We've gone out and bought a few Remo heads, and today we will be comparing Ambassadors against Clear Emperors. Now, this should be fairly similar to our G1 versus G2, because I think the specs are identical. So this is a single ply of 10 mil, that is two ply seven mil. Um, so I'm expecting similar results, what do you think? I mean, yeah, as you said, it's the classic single ply versus twin ply. It's going to be interesting to see how the Remos do compare to our earlier G1 versus G2 videos on the Evans. Um, now for this video, we're going to be using our own Tama Star Classic Babinga kit. It's 10, 12 and 16 toms. We're going to be matching the tunings as closely as possible and obviously in the same room with the same mics. Let's hear how they compare. All right, so no really surprise on the results there. The Emperor with that slightly warmer sound. Yeah, yeah. I think um, you can really hear the difference in the attack on the Ambassador. The, the Emperor, I guess, being a, a damper head, you hear that attack so much more. Yeah. But on the Ambassador, you really get that melodic sustain directly after the attack. And I think it blends in a lot more. So it becomes less of a and more of a You kind of hear that just carry straight through out of the attack on the Ambassador, which I like a lot more than I thought I would. I've, I've always been a twin ply guy. Yeah, too, yeah. I thought the Ambassador sounded great there. Yeah, it sounded great. Obviously, yeah. durability does come into it as well because you're going to re be replacing them a lot sooner. I think you'll find that they would die. And even just after that slight bit of playing, I think we can see more marking on the Ambassador compared yep. to the Emperor there. And we hardly played those at all. So, you know, durability is a big factor here as well. Musically, is there a musical situation you would choose one over the other? In which situation? Yeah, definitely. If I was playing anything that needed a super melodic tom thing, and maybe, you know, that that crosses genres. Um, there's loads of situations you want that super melodic tom, but anything that you want more of a thud and just attack and then it to be gone, mm -hmm. twin ply every time. So there we go. Let us know in the comments which of the heads you preferred. Let us know which you use. And is there a head you'd like us to compare in the future? If you enjoyed this sound comparison video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see some more, and we'll see you for the next one.